since we're in the area of church sissies and things, okay, uh, we just got an apology from uh, what's her name? Oh, girl, Miss uh, uh Doetta Brown. You, you mean the lady name? who was married to the punk that's up in the Pennsylvania area? She now, used to be we, married to him, and that's why she has so much vengeance. You talking about Kim Burrell? Ooh. Yes. Let's let's play a clip from the, from the apology. Do we have that? For the people in the back. And for that, I want to apologize to the LGBTQ community. Let's give them a great big round of applause. We want them to have strength and to sincerely know that we must all do the work to embrace all of God's people and show forth his love to everyone. Amen. Amen. Tonight, I hope that this award and this moment can be the beginning of a bridge building and listening to each other as we follow peace with all men and develop the character of God, which requires seeing God. Thanks to the Stella Awards for honoring me and a very special thanks to the talented colleagues that I'm pride, proud to call my friends. Maurette, again, thank you so very much. Phil, Dr. Teresa, thank you all so very much again. To the front row, we've been together a long time. Second, third, fourth, and 20th row, we've been together a long time. Let's keep doing this. This evening is so very, very special. And Melvin, Chris, Bellboy, you show sure can't say. And thanks to all of the fans, to the fans, thank you for your support. Thank you for all... Get my children. Get my children out of here. And that apology out of here. Okay, now, Craig, listen, I sincerely apologize to... to, to that wasn't sincere. No, I sincerely <laughs> apologize. Hold on. I sincerely apologize to not Carlton Banks. Correct. Some people didn't think that my apology was sincere because I said... this. I, some people wrote because I said I let my intrusive thoughts... Now, now I do think that your apology was sincere. I do. I believe it because I, because I meant that when yeah, I said Yeah, I know it. you did. And then, wait. Like, Remember when we said the other oh, week yes. when, when we were talking about it? Remember we did the live. I think you were in LA and we did a live and this was after Fag Talk. And remember you said we would talk about it offline because Duran called you and James yes. right now. Duran because you told me. me all of that, I did believe that your yes, apology was because sincere. Because I did not but they mean, don't have that information. They don't. And I I and it was because I shouldn't have said these things out loud about someone that I admire like that, because I do admire that person. And so it's I shouldn't have said those things out loud, mm -hmm. trying to make a joke, as I was yeah, yeah. trying to make a little funny. But yeah. do I think... <laughs> she looked very nice. She, <laughs> she definitely got some punks working with her. She, yeah, they're back. She <laughs> looked very nice. She looked very nice, and that oh 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 Zimbic, you know, looks good on her. Oh, bitch, that old Zimbic look good on her. You know that bitch ain't been to the gym. You think she got a membership at LA Fitness? Too many children in here. You know that lady did not go down to the Planet Fitness. <laughs> <laughs> what? So how did y'all feel about that apology? We're talking about it right now. I, I don't think that it was sincere. Um, My personal thing, when you said let's give them a round of applause, I thought that you were being right. That's what I'm saying. Let's give oh, them a round of applause. Like of applause. It was kind of sarcastic. Like it that. was. Yeah. yeah. It was very sarcastic. Here's the thing. I want church people to stand on that we're going to hell. Stand on it. Stand 10 toes down that we're going to hell. Stand on it. I don't need you to come back and apologize for it. I'm, listen, when you let me know that you a motherfucker that don't like fags and trannies and dykes and sissies and punks, I'm, I'm, I want to see you. I want to see you. I want to see you. Again, I want to see you because I know exactly who you are. That's I fine. respect you for being who you are. I accept you for being who you are. I don't have to fuck with you. That's so fine. I get an opportunity to go the other motherfucking way. I don't fuck with Candace Owens. I don't give a fuck about Candace Owens. I don't watch nothing Candace Owens driven. Because I already Candace know that. Owens. I don't know anything. <laughs> I don't give a fuck about that hoe. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't I don't tune into anything that has anything to do with it. I don't mm -hmm. write, I don't write comments under it or whatever. Right. I don't I don't have nothing to do with it. I know who she is, I know how she feels about me. If the and I know how she feels about herself. If tomorrow some crockers run down on her motherfucking ass and do some shit like they just did that woman in that house over there, which we're going to talk about, and some shit happened to that pussy ass motherfucking hoe, we're not talking about it over here. We're not talking about it over here. 
We're not. And you know, we had also said we weren't going to talk with the icons anymore. Oh, I said if that happens to her. <laughs> We're not. But because we I are. understand who she is. And this is his thing. I'm going to say this, and y'all not going to like me for this. What you going to say, girl? I was very hurt after I did research on Sandra Bland. Oh, yeah. I told you this. Yeah, yeah. I, was, I said it on one of these I was, I was hurt. Mm -hmm. I was hurt. I'll just leave it at that. Cause that's very sensitive. That's very, you know, what happened to her was an atrocity. Absolutely. It was a heinous crime against her. Heinous crime against her. But I was hurt after I researched the things that she has said. I was very hurt. Yes. I was extremely hurt. But because I am black, hmm. Let's let's do this here. Mm -hmm. What black people need to understand. Because I am black, I can see the heinous, evil, vile, disgusting, low down crime that was done to her mm -hmm. and not think twice about her views on, yeah. on my life. Absolutely. And not think twice about her views on my life. Now that doesn't always mean that it's reciprocal in it's, our direction. It's, it's never, never, it's never reciprocal in our direction. Ever. It's never reciprocal in our direction. It's never reciprocal in our direction. Right. Now, see, somebody will sit on. She didn't deserve it. I didn't say that she. So don't right. do that. I say I understand as an as a black person, black person. that the heinous, evil, vile, low down, despicable nasty crime that was done to her was atrocious and all those people involved need to be decimated. They do. <clears throat> but in the same breath, I can say had that been me, mm -hmm. that feeling would not have been reciprocated to me. Right, right. And I live in a world, I live in a world right now where I have to stand back and say, Madison, you got to vote for shit that's right. Yeah. Madison, you got to stand on shit that is right. Even if it hurt, even if that shit hurts you down to the floor. Right. Because I think what, what, what happens in a lot of instances, people vote with the intention of using their vote to weaponize, using their vote as a weapon to try to punish other people. White people do it to immigrants or black people. Straight people will sometimes do it to the queer community. So we have to stop doing that. And since we're in this Sandra Bland space, I mean, we can't not talk about what happened to Sonya so we done. So we done with Kimberell? I'm finished with her. I just personally feel that, that she didn't mean her apology. I just, I believe that. I, I don't think she it did. was because it was very it was very quick. Let's give her somebody told her she's gonna get a stellar award. She need to she need to apologize yeah, to the yeah. punks. Her and get it. Let's get a gaze around of applause. Yes, right. girl. Ah, yeah, gaze, yes. But you know what else? What, they so quick to want to cancel us for talking the talking our talk. But ain't y'all ain't wanted to cancel Kim Burrell? Because the gays be the ones that the gays really be the ones that be listening to her and praising her and talking about how talented she is. So y'all just like being beat up and abused. Trauma. It's a trauma that you all are reacting to. Y'all enjoy that? Because I don't understand that. I don't. When I watched the apology, I feel the way. I mean, it's okay. And most punks did feel the way. Most real punks. Because, you know, I was the bitch that set that off in 2016. Y'all may not give me my props for that. But, bitch, I was the bitch that set that motherfucking whole thing off. When that bitch was in that church and she was tearing motherfucking um, Eddie Long up Ooh, and she tore, him up. tore him up and then put the virus on him, even though we don't know what happened. <laughs> but she was trying to affirm and confirm the virus on that man. And all we did was talk about what was happening in the 80s and did this. And y'all tore us up. Yes. This lady, this lady. For y'all that don't remember, bitch, that you go back to that fish fry video. That was all that shit started with Kim Burrell. And that, that was the domino effect that happened. And she didn't even say the supermarket. Bitch, season. when I tell you I terrorized that bitch for motherfucking all, I terrorized that bitch for a good hour. I was on that whole ass. It was it was at night, Christmas. It was around Christmas time when you was in the car with me. I was tearing her motherfucking ass up. And that, that domino effect trickled down. And that bitch got unbooked from Ellen. Yes. Bitch, that was, bitch, tell Cersei it was me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>
tell Cersei it was me. <laughs> M-E. Bitch, because I was on that bitch ass about mm -hmm. that shit. I was on her motherfucking ass for that. Mm -hmm. Because I was like, bitch, I loved you. Every time I looked up, we, that's when we were doing the Queen Supreme Court. Every time I looked up, that shit was on the docket. I'm like, <laughs> I was not playing with her motherfucking ass, bitch. Okay. I done set up here. I done set up here and nothing loved on you and not cared on this stuff. You, you girl, know what did you do, girl? Bitch, I loved on your motherfucking <laughs> bitch. <laughs>